Hey guys and welcome back to another HH Aviation video. Today we are going to be doing our updated model matching video that has been long awaited by you lot so let's get into it. As you can see I am on the Alpha India group page. Uh, the link will be in the description. Um, we've got an interesting form of model matching from these lot. It wasn't in initially uh, chosen for that but it's a very good model matching. Um, I've seen videos on it and stuff like that. I haven't actually tested it for myself, but I have seen videos on it. Uh, people like British Have Geek use it and stuff like that. But yeah, so what you want to do is you want to get the public beta 1.1, including MSFS support, and it will start downloading. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you what to do now. Okay, so now what you want to do is you just want to extract the files, um, do that, and as you can see, it's now unzipped. And then just here, AIG Tech AI Manager, right click it, run as administrator, click yes, and then let it load. Hello ladies and gentlemen, because something I quickly forgot to mention, as you can see I'm quickly loading up my uh, AI Manager. You have default traffic file, is still active, do you want to disable it? Just click no. And then, yeah. And then, this, this is the first time the scenery catch is generated for your sim. If you will have a lot of scenery installed, it's suggested to run it in a slower collection mode that will reduce the required RAM. Um, all you have to do here is honestly just um, if you have a lot of scenery obviously click yes if you don't then click no but yeah see when it's loaded okay now ladies and gentlemen as you can see the AI manager is installed for me um, as you can see nothing is installed it's just this screen at the moment you'll be brought to this screen so what you want to do is, is you want before we install anything you want to head to settings and check that you've got the MFS 2020 version installed. If you haven't, then I'm not quite sure where you've gone wrong, but it should look like this. Okay, next what you wanna do is, from this page you wanna to go to updates, and you want to um, unclick the pre-2018 OCI flight plans, and you want to log into the AIG form. So it will bring you to a page like this, you'll click uh, yes a lot, but yeah, just uh, if you don't have an account then just create one. But yeah, I'll be with you once that's been done. Okay, so then once you've logged in, if I was to click log in, you would see hello HH Aviation, just tick the AIG form. After that what you're going to want to do is you want to go to cookies. And as you can see, it also says logged in. And then you want to create an AvSim account. So log in. Click yes again a lot of times if it comes up. Um, and yeah, you want to create an AvSim account for the library. Even if you already have one, create a new one for the AvSim library. Okay, from here, what you want to do is, is you want to go to AIGA OCI. As you can see, it wants to uh, set up to the community folder. Uh, so it should automatically do it. If not, then just click set up next and as you can see it's automatically selected my community folder so if we just, so yeah uh, don't need to tick any of these and then just click setup it will then close and restart and then we'll just wait for it to load again okay so it's been brought to my attention that this seems to be a problem so as you can see your OCI installation is located in a directory that will come close to the maximum path length of 255 characters so as you know it's in my community so just click OK on this um, and then I will show you the step of what to do from there onwards. Okay guys so as you can see uh, I'm back on this page now. Uh, to do that go settings and then it will pop up. Click move directory. Um, click OK and then find the place that you want to uh, place it. So I'm going to place it on my uh, new volume in here. I'm just going to click OK and then OK again. The process will now start depending on the size it may take some time. If you want to back up, do it now. Just click OK, process is done uh, and click restart. OK guys, so now that you've loaded it back up, you would have been on this installed page. Click online, it will bring you to this page. This page will be completely blank unless you've started installing already. So if you click control, you can choose multiple. So I'm going to choose Asian Airlines and Aer Lingus just for the purpose of this video. I'm going to click OCR bulk so that they all go at the same time. And as you can see, it's starting to work through it and everything like that. So 
you know, please wait while these files are being installed. Okay, so as you can see here, just thought I'd show you, check in repaint for AI Gem, download repaint, Airbus A319, so it does all the aircraft that start doing this, but yeah, just let it work through. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm currently installing all the uh, airlines that I want, beginning with A, uh, bulk installed of 96 airlines, um, and it came up, Alpha India Manager is not able to download the file automatically. This is no problem at all. Uh, as you can see, your default browser will now open so you can download the file manually. Click OK. Please select your copy of the following file, Raven FS Labs. I'm just going to quickly hit close here. As you can see, the Raven FS Labs has it installed. Um, so I'm just going to quickly click back on this and click back on this. Click OK. Raven FS Labs open. And there you go. Not able to download the file automatically. Click OK. As you can see, it's installing. Go back to your uh, manager, OK again, and I believe you just click this one, click open, and perfect, see, it's all back up and running, and you can let it go again, just keep an eye on it, obviously watch some YouTube, watch a film, eat some dinner, which I've just done, I've just watched some YouTube, eating my dinner, just letting it run, but yeah. So I'll uh, see you all soon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm currently in the process of installing the last livery that I have chosen for the group of A's. So I'm going to click OK. As you can see, it's update in package info, and it says fix OCI sim object CFG files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go settings. I'm going to go AIG AIM OCI. I'm going to go verify setup and I'm also once that's fixed there I'm then going to click verify texture format uh, quickly click yes on that so as you can see any missing repaints will now install automatically so it's just going to scan all of those, so it's a little bit uh, long-winded at the moment, but we'll let it run through, because if this happens to any of you, you know what to do. So we're going to let it keep on doing its thing, keep on doing its thing. As you can see, it's saying scan OCI Airlines. So just let it keep doing its thing. But yeah. This is only like the first out of like loads and loads of airlines that I will uh, be using. So I'm just going to click OK here. It's uh, just going to quickly click that. Uh, click OK here. It's going to quickly do all of that. OK here. It's going to quickly finish off all of these. But yeah, so uh, we'll quickly finish off all of these and then we'll move on to the next. Uh, the next parts but yeah and I'm gonna click verify texture format run texture format verification just let it quickly run for and do all its thingies But yeah, so pretty much what you want to do is, when you download any new airlines, anything, just do all of that, verify setup, verify texture format, let it run through, that's all sorted, I'm going to click, uh, but yeah, and then you click save, uh, close, but now I'll show you what to do once you've installed everything you want to install. Okay ladies and gentlemen, now that you've installed all your liveries that you've chosen off the AIG uh, AI manager. What you're going to want to do is, is once you've verified set up and everything like that like I've shown you, head to the link down in the description. It'll bring you up to this flightsim.to page. We're going to install model matching magic. So to do that, just head down, click download 1.3, main file, and then, yeah, let the countdown happen, uh, and it should automatically start the install. And then, yeah, once it's done that, once it's downloaded, just extract it run the application and then there yeah, I'll meet you in Model Matching Magic. Okay ladies and gentlemen, as you can see I have uh, got Model Matching Magic up. It may look like this, if you've used it in the past it may look different. 
what you're going to want to do is now is just find, go to your community folder so mine's here or whatever you have AIG, AI traffic, OCI beta installed it should already have a shortcut in your community like mine um, double click it click up here as you can see it's all highlighted blue copy go over here and paste wait no sorry Con control A delete that all and then paste and then click scan and just wait for it all to load up okay so as you can see everything has loaded up now while you was waiting for it to load it may have said not respond or anything like that that's completely fine I'm just gonna have to quickly do this full screen so you can already see what's happening here as you can see it's got the AIGM Air China Boeing 787-MAX 8 everything like that it's got the airline iCal codes lot for all the so for example lot we've got the Embraer 195 we've got loads of different aircraft now as you can see though a lot of the aircraft have um, not been picked up so if we go up to the top here and just click exclude exclude again as you can see it's picked up majority of it all the ones with a tick there is more than like more than definitely a uh, problem with them so you're just going to want to again get some get some uh, water or something like that and just go through all of these ones with ticks like this and then for example 737 max 8 we need the aircraft type so just google 737 max 8 iCal code here you go B38M just quickly copy that control C go back over click on this control V and what you want to do is is just go through all all the aircraft you could probably be able to find a list on Wikipedia or something of all the aircraft but yeah just go through make sure that obviously you've got 7, 8, 737 uh, max 8 max 9 make sure that you don't get confused and put the max 8 aircraft type for the max 9 or any other aircraft because it can happen so yeah just go through that also make sure you look out for the iCals like for example um, I believe where is it DHL the cargo company their iCal normally messes up quite a lot um, but yeah so what you want to do is just find that make sure make sure all the iCal's airline iCal's are all sorted as you can see DHL Air UK oh it seems to have already sorted itself I mean one of them I remember when I was doing this in the past one of them was uh, completely messed up but yeah and then anything like British Airways um, obviously British Airways has the shuttle uh, call sign and the uh, speedbird call sign what you'd want to do for that is go airline codes and as you can see I've already like messed around with mine you've got British Airways, BAAW, shuttle, BA because some people do that and then EasyJet, Easy, EJU for Alpine, EZ, EZ SU2, Lufthansa so I'm just going to quickly do DH, LX, everything like that, and Iberia. Just go through that. If you know any like airlines who have multiple call signs for like, ones they may use at Christmas, or like British Airways with the BAW shuttle, just add them on here. So, for example, let's say we was doing EasyJet. All we'd do is EasyJet, do that, and then just so forth, do that. But yeah, so just go through all of these. And then what you want to do is, is click generate VMR. The VMR will be successfully generated and then I'll show you what to do now. Okay now what you want to do is once you've gone through all of that, obviously I'm just showing you for the purpose of the video, I've not sorted it all out yet. You've ge click generate VMR, as you can see model matching magic VMR. Just drag it over here, copy it over. Uh, for some reason mine wants to move it, so just copy it over paste into vpilot files 
and then if I was to load vpilot right now obviously normally run it as administrator when you do your uh, when you do your game oh mine has a new version for now I'm going to click no just quickly click settings model matching MFS this little plus here custom rules as you can see it's there but just in case go find where you've located your vpilot vpilot files and open and then remove the one that was already there click apply okay and yeah that's pretty much all you need to do to get this updated model matching it's pretty good I've seen videos on it I've not tested it out myself obviously but yeah it's looking pretty good you can see 737s slash 8s and everything like that in there now so yeah let me know what you think in the comments if you need any help just let me know come to my discord message me comments anything like that but yeah I'll see you all in the next one this has been HH Aviation stay safe peace